of starting the recording. Thank you. All right. Well, um, let's see. I've got an agenda for tonight. So welcome to the February W7PRA Peak Radio Association meeting. I'm Paul and Cyril Villar, chair of the board. And we'll do some introductions. I think we all are familiar with ourselves. Uh, but it's always good, just in case you have something else to add. So I'll start with the left top of the screen, Anthony. Anthony, KE7OSN in rural Marion County. All right. And Mike. Mike, W7RIS, just north of Corvallis. Mr. Ted, RTM. W7RTM in the suburbs of Philomath. <laughs> <laughs> the suburbs. The suburbs. Got it. Uh, Tyler. Tyler Parsons, WB7DD, and I'm in South Corvallis. Okay, Annalise. I am Annalise, NH6Z, smack down in the middle of the metropolitan Lebanon area. Okay. Ron. Yeah, Ron Post, uh, up in Millersburg. All right. Olin. Olin, WA7YXY, Corvallis. Mr. Scott, my partner in crime with uh, Ham Radio, all things Ham Radio, anyway. Hello, Paul. Yes, Scott here, KF7GGN in Corvallis, not far from Olin. Okay. Uh, Andy, I'm not sure if you made it back yet, but if so, reintroduce yourself. Yeah, can you hear me, Paul? Yes. Okay, I, I can't get my uh, video to work somehow, but uh, I'm Andy, W7AAU, and I'm your tangent target. All right, and uh, Andy Noble. Hi, I'm Andy, AA7AV. Can you hear me? My rare DX on 20 meters uh, <laughs> uh, last uh, few nights ago. Yeah, that was good. Yes. And Mr. Chris, so good to have you. Please uh, sign in. Mr. Guest, please sign in. Chris, 87 <laughs> BS, down here in right. beautiful Blue Jean, Oregon. Blue, Blue Jean, Oregon. Got it. All right. Well, thank you all for, for joining. Uh, this is a great uh, mix here we've got. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys uh, tonight's presentation and an update on our business portion, which will follow. So. I'm going to hand it over to Mike. He's going to do us a favor and uh, give us a, pres a presentation on to crimp or not to crimp. Okay, looks like we lost Chris. He might have had to take a phone call or something, but everybody else is here. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with our business portion. And uh, first up, we have secretary's report. Well, good evening all. Last, I uh, believe, Wednesday or Thursday, I sent out the meetings from January 16th meeting. If there's any been, uh, there, it has been updated. I've had misspelled presence. We didn't get presents at the meeting. I'm, I was <laughs> sad to report, but uh, there were presents. So, Your presence uh, was a presence to me, Ted. Pardon? Your presence was a present to me, Ted. Well, thank you. Spell, it's being spelling challenged, <laughs> there should be no surprise. Anyway, uh, if there's any update, other updates, additions, deletions, just let me know, and I will make those changes. Thank you very much. Super. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ted, for your uh, continued uh, service in that regard. Um, Andy, Treasurer's Report, are you online? Uh, yes. Can you hear me, Paul? I can. Okay. I apologize for not having my video. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, but I, I'm not going to smash the computer with my hammer till after the meeting. Uh <laughs> our, to our total assets are $4,769.19. Uh, do you think that it's uh, useful for me to uh, disclose you know, what each of our account totals are, or is that just significant? That's sufficient 
to give the total. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with the total because whether it's in square or whether it's in petty cash or wherever is really all part of the same pie with different uh, payment forms, unless somebody would like to hear it. Yeah, 4,700 um, 4, of it is uh, in the uh, OS, uh, the uh, Oregon State Credit Union Bank account. Everything else is like nickels and dimes in the other miscellaneous accounts. I don't really care where it is. I don't care where it is as long as it's not in your pocket. And what I'm concerned about as a board member is more change month to over month. So I want to know where we're headed since last month. Uh, okay. I I have uh, um, made you a uh, recipient. You're able to see the uh, treasurer's reports that I filed on the Google website that we share. I gave you access to it. And I think it sent you an email, you know, saying you had that access. Uh, if you did not get a, uh, an email about that and was able to access our reports, I'll, I'll check into it and do it again. Uh, I, every, I keep a journal and, um, uh, the treasurer's report at each month that summary that I make every month, I, I enter it into the final day of each month. So uh, that, that journal contains all the information so that uh, you can you can see whatever happens throughout the year. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't been able to access that, I'll, I'll get into that again and then see, see that you're added to it properly. Andy, I would still like to receive the email which, which brackets it all out because I put it in the minutes. Right, well, I'll continue to do that. And I can, okay. send that, I can send that email to anybody who wants it. So what I'll do is as soon as we're done here, I will send Anna a copy of that email that I sent you a few days ago. Uh, so yeah, Excellent. prior, you know, on the Friday prior to every meeting, I send out an email that uh, specifies exactly where each penny is. Uh, but for purposes of our online meetings, the total is uh, four thousand seven hundred seventy dollars in round cents. Sure, and, uh, half and, of it's in our checking account, half of it's in our savings account. And and part of what I'm saying is that yes, I do have access to everything that goes on. I try and read it as much as I can with my schedule. As far as the meeting goes, I don't really care that, to get a detailed breakdown. Again, the two pieces of information that I'd really like to know in the meeting is how much money we have total and how has that changed since last month? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, good point. I don't have that to change figure for you right now, but uh, that's a good point. I will I will start to do that. Thank you. So I hope that makes your life easier. Yeah. All right. That's all for me. Thank you, Andy. Uh, I did put a uh, an action, I'm uh, sorry, an, uh, for, uh, a topic in here for a repeater report, but uh, I'm going to pass until Chris comes back. Uh, I do know that he happened to have been working on Otter Crest and got it back working. He said not only um, the, the peak node, but many other providers on that same place got just ravaged by some sort of animal that got in there. And he said had to replace much of everything that was in there as far as wires go. Uh, so anyway, it's back up and working for those who are going to the coast. Uh, you can key up the Ottercrest machine uh, next time you go out there. There you go. There's the repeater report. I uh, happened to hear him listen. I, I heard him when he was doing the uh, the repairs uh, a couple of nights um, Yeah, this past weekend. Okay. Uh, going to old business, um, I just wanted to mention two. We could we could mention more, but I think I'm just crunching it down uh, to just the, the two here. One of them is the, the PRA website. We're trying to work on that. Uh, so I want to thank Ron, AE4JL, for, uh, for starting this off. And as far as the content, so there's two components to the website. There's the content itself, and then there's the hosting. And I want to address the content uh, first. Let me see if I can... If I can share my screen without blowing something up here. 
Um, okay. And uh, you don't need to see my shopping cart. And okay, there we go. And I don't know how to move. There we go. All right. So Ron uh, took uh, upon himself to kind of put up, you know, a blank sheet of paper is is, is uh, anything beats a blank sheet of paper um, as far as a draft version of what we would like to do. Uh, so he pulled in an image from from Mary's Peak. We put some words on it. There's a couple of uh, different uh links that are intended to be up here one it goes across over to the repeater sites another one might be a calendar that we could we can maintain uh haven't figured out how to do that yet ron uh but i'm sure it's it's here somewhere um and then the club meetings is just a youtube link to the the channel uh a little bit about us and and again this is all tbd this is all just you know something that we can edit right here i can actually do it right here using this particular club login it's actually under his his name but it's uh you can see it says w7 pra club web uh with it with an email address uh like that so that's what we how we did this um there's uh an intended you know link to go to whatever we want to to bring people to go and you know join or renew uh, there'll be some instructions. There's some contacts over here, and you can edit it to your heart's content uh, and things of that nature. So the goal for us was to keep it simple because nobody's a webmaster. We're all just web hackers uh, at best using a tool like this. Um, and so we've got it started. And um, so what I'll do is once I have it a little bit solidified, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, Ron and I will take a look at it. He'll be my peer checker. Um, and then I'll send out the HTML content without being hosted. I'll send it out for anybody to comment on uh, and see if there's anything that we want to add that's easy to add content-wise. Um, how does everybody feel about that? Oh, that sounds fine. Looks good to me. Okay, uh, great. I have no yeah, so this is, yeah, so, so that was just the process that I was telling you about, the what I'm going to do is this is the process. If somebody says, hey, that's not the right name, we should do it this way, et cetera, et cetera, I, I'm open to those comments. I'm, I'm very thick-skinned in that regard. Uh, but uh, I just want to make sure that we, we have something that represents the club and what we stand for and what um and and have a clear message there is going to be a clear message on the um on chris's landing page so i don't have a i don't have oh i did it again um i, I don't have a um what's the word um any text yet that that he and I will kind of collaborate on as far as a message goes about repeater system versus club and all this other stuff. That's going to be probably the the most scrutinized uh, piece of material that goes on there before we before we publish. OK. Um, the next piece is the hosting. And so Chris offered. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Tyler, um, you know, and I didn't quite get it right away because I was just coming back into the area. Tyler said, hey, you know, peakradioassociation.org is open. And and lo and behold, that's what's that's what's written in the bylaws. <laughs> so, um, so we could use peakradioassociation.org. Uh, I think it's that. Let me see if it's is that the right one, Tyler? Or is it dot com or what is it? Um, hmm. it is peakradioassociation.org. That's the way it's written in the uh, in the bylaws. We can certainly change the bylaws. We're up for that anyway. But we also have the opportunity to get w7pra.club, which Chris said that he would um, offer us. I he did. Uh, he said that he would transfer it. He did not indicate any um, uh, openly indicate any monetary exchange. Um, I, I don't I don't know, um, but I would like 
somebody to maybe check into the cost of, of hosting something, maybe getting a website name uh, like peakradioassociation.org and, and see what the costs are associated with it because like, we don't have time to do it all. I'd like to focus on the content. Are you referring volunteers? Are you referring to hosting or are you referring to domain name registration? They're two entirely different processes. You're right. And that's that's how naive I am. So I need some help. So both. Okay. Are is there a reason why you're developing on on Google Sites but are not intending to deploy on Google Sites? It, so it would seem to me that it would be relatively I think it's free and we can point our own domain into Google Sites is my understanding. Yeah, that's that's my intent too. Okay, I would think that that would uh, uh, you know that's going to be scalable and and able to be passed down to people and and all that goodness there. Um I mean, we can figure out what the the domain names cost. They're usually on the order of 10 to $20 a, a year. Um I'm happy to help um figure out how to how to register those i'm also you know at, at risk of of making myself in putting myself into dependency loop which i'm not sure is great for the club or for me i do have dns services through aws uh, route 53 which are going to be really reliable and you know aren't going to cost very I, I wouldn't charge the club for the hosting services it'll cost me like it's it's more time for me to bill it out than it is for me to just pay it so um the club may want to uh, you know investigate that though um it may cost mm -hmm. a couple bucks a month to do route 53 at aws that would be my recommendation mm -hmm. for dns i would in no way go with godaddy dns because they're they don't know what the hell they're doing but anyway i i would be happy to to take some of the lead on this if that's what folks want um but uh getting a domain and pointing it to google sites is just not going to be that hard and is basically going to be worth the the domain hosting fee, whatever it is. Um, they vary depending on what the TLD is. So .club is going to be a different price than .com. That's going to be a different price than .org. They charge different dollars for each of those. Well, I'm looking for help and, and I'll take whatever help we can get, uh, Anna. And if all we need to do is be presented with some options, uh, and to kind of go with it. I mean, we, we're not loaded with money and we don't need high speed. So, I mean, it's just visitors that are going to come by and well, see a flat page with, with, with a whole lot of nothing behind it. Um, none of this is about to do much of anything. None of this is about speed because as Ron and I discussed, you're going to get Google to do it and Google's going to make it fast. So the hosting, I, I am a hundred percent with Ron that that's, a quick and easy and and fall off a log way to make it go. It's going to be something that when Ron gets hit by a truck coming out of Wa Chang, that somebody else is going to be able to take over for that relatively easily, as long as we've got the password and access stuff to do that. So I think that that, I, I don't think that I would argue at all with that yep. way of going. We just need to figure out the DNS, which is relatively easy and and honestly, I you know I can go and do it in about ten minutes if we just decide what domain name we want. Um, and I'm I'm not you know if you figure out what domain name we want, I can make sure that with Ron that it gets pointed to the right place and does the right thing. Yeah, that's very much in line, uh, Anna, with my thinking too. That um, the nice thing with Google Sites is it's as people change, it's easy to learn the tool and you can pass the responsibilities from person to person. 100%, 100% agree. Yep. Okay, well, let's make a, um, a an action here to um, just keep it simple, come up with a, a path forward such that we can have some presence. I mean, I'm I'm talking like you know up, way up here because I don't understand the working components. The first, um, so I, I, I'm I'm willing to um, just let's get this let's get this baby rolling. Hey Paul, first step is to decide on a, a domain name that we uh, would like. Find out who owns it and get it from them. And if nobody owns it. Uh, pay one of the services that will 
sell it to us. And yeah. then uh, whatever work is being done on the design of the website can continue as a separate process. And then we can link it to that domain whenever we've got it all squared away and in our pockets. I, I would assert that there is no domain name that we would want that is so valuable that we would pay somebody else for it. I would suggest that we figure out one that nobody else is using or that Chris is willing to give to us and or transfer for very cheaply and go that way. I would not be in any sort of advocacy that we are paying somebody else for them squatting on the domain name. Yeah, yeah I agree. So, I, what, what I meant by... Uh, acquiring the name from somebody else was uh, if Chris happened to own it because when I checked uh, he owned everything I thought of <laughs> so uh, we'll just the uh, first thing I think we'll do is we'll, we'll decide which one we like and then we'll find out if Chris owns it and if that's true there's no problem he'll let us use it but if he doesn't own it we might have to go you know purchase it yeah Okay, uh, I just put it in the chat window. When I pull it up, it just comes up as, you know, there's there's no site here. Uh, so I, I think if we could use, you know, one of those those uh, two. I, I'm not sure too many people know what Dark Club is. I mean, I'm willing to go with it. Uh, I've not been very. Uh, I guess I've never seen it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, but the dot org I'm familiar with, and, and if there's you know not a lot of price difference, then I mean we are you know trying to save a little money too, right? So let's okay. let's put well, it this way, if Paul. Could... If you if you send to me what however you want to make this decision, whether you want to take a club vote or whatever, don't care. Mm -hmm. If you send to me which domain that you would like to use. I will take care of the DNS stuff and work with Ron to make that work. And I will take on that action item. I will make sure awesome. that the DNS gets set up, the domain register does it. And let's put it this way. It's cheap enough that for the first year, I will make that as a donation to the club and we can figure out what goes on with it after that. Good. Okay, I, I say we open it up for a vote. If anybody, all it, uh, if we go ahead and move forward with Selecting a name that's available and, and having Anna uh, do this uh, for the first year with uh, so long as the cost for renewal is is reasonable. I mean, and then that's that's I guess that's the that's the um, uh, that's Flex. that's really what's going on here. Flex pays me well, a... but they don't pay me that well, so I'm not going to be picking a domain that costs a whole lot to renew. No, no, no. Does anybody have any objection? You might want to register no. for more I than one year. I think we all want to get our web register presence. Register for more than one year, like register for five years. Okay. Uh, so, Anna, just so you know, the club is, is willing to reimburse uh, for these costs if we decide to do more than, you know, if there's a cost savings for, for, for doing this. So if you can come back and let us know what... What what you find then? I mean, maybe you already know the answer. That's great, um, and and we can we can get it moving. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to presume that was a, a an all yay verily, uh, so that we can keep moving here. Uh, so thank you for everybody who contributed to that. And and last for those who haven't contributed yet, uh, I could use your keen eye on a review on the website. Feel free to go to other ham club sites to look at what they've done to see if there's anything that we should do. Again, so long as it's simple to maintain. And uh, I'll put that out in the next. Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm going to be busy from now until the weekend, so it's going to be at least a week. OK, uh, here's another opportunity. Um, uh, social gatherings. Uh, we'd like to do some more face to face uh, items. Of course, we have a couple coming up anyway. Uh, in May and June, but uh, if there's anything anybody wants to do between now and then, uh, I'd be looking for somebody to coordinate, you know, anything, whether it's a coffee break, whether it's a, a kit building, antenna raising, a park on the air, what, whatever, if there's any interest, somebody wants to lead it, um, I'll support it and attend as, as much as I can, uh, and, and maybe others will find it interesting as well. So, 
just so that I mentioned that before. And, and if there's anybody who has any interest in, in doing something social, feel free to get it started. <laughs> Okay, uh, we, we don't have to talk about that detail now. It just, as, as it comes up, use the reflector, use um, whatever means, send me a direct email, you know, whatever works for you. Uh, in order to keep moving, because we have a couple of things to cover and, and Mike, I wanted to maybe hand it over to you to talk about um, 7QP. And if there's any interesting things that you need to know about it, um, as far as you know attendees or any nuances, thank you. Okay, this year, May um, 6th and 7th is identified for uh, 7QP. Let me cough here. <laughs> All right. So put that on your calendar. Generally, we most of us head out on that Thursday. Uh, this month, I will be contacting Forest Service to see if I can get any kind of a reservation or see if there's any problems with us doing an event there. Um, I will also be sending out kind of an introductory uh, email to everybody uh, on the 7QP and also on this reflector too, uh, to see if anybody wants to end up joining us. But all the action that is gonna be going on on the 7QP reflector as far as uh, what's happening and what's what's going on. So at the end of this month, I'll probably send out an, uh, another email on the 7QP basically letting everybody know that, hey, thanks for starting to wake up, move along, and I'll be feeding my everybody the usual bits and pieces of information for the 7QP. So that's it for 7QP. The next thing that we wanted to talk about was field day. Uh, field day, it, oh, you know, let's see. Our field day is the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of uh, June. And I will be the kind of the person kind of coordinating all of that and helping everybody get things together. So I'll be seeing plenty of help. So the first thing that we need, decision that we need to make as a club is where we want to hold the event. Uh, we've been typically using the Willamette Park uh, in the past, do we want to continue to do that if the answer is yes, or do we want to go to a different place? I'm pretty sure we're still going to want Willamette Park. Then I need to go through all the permitting process to uh, make that happen. And I will also need a vote for uh, uh, expenditure of money to make that happen. So let's start things off. Um, is there, do we have anybody that would not or I would think that we're better off going someplace other than while I'm apart. Not hearing anybody jumping out in front of that train. Uh, so while I'm apart is it. Um, then the next thing we need to do is that, do you remember what, uh, what we were paying for that? I think it was around, somewhere around $300 a, a event there. So uh, I need a little bit of a vote for saying that we're approved for uh, to uh, for yeah. me to go ahead and we acquire to, that. We have to acquire a permit from uh, the uh, city of Corvallis Department of Parks. And I think you're right. It was about $257 last year. It keeps going up. So it might be about 300 this year. Okay. I'll move, along, along, move, along. To, uh, move to allow Mike to spend up to $500 on acquiring a permit from the city of Corvallis. Second. I second. All in favor? Vote. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Where's Drew? So he can oppose uh, in, in uh, Jim's absentia. Okay. Uh, we so move to, uh, so Secretary, make a note that uh, so approved, uh, not to exceed $500 uh, allocated, but certainly uh, budget minded, of course. I have another uh, comment about field uh, day. It goes crazy. Yeah, Paul, Paul, Andy here. Go ahead, Andy. Uh, we also have to renew our liability insurance policy, which is normally done in uh, March. So I'll be doing that next month. And uh, we'll need to provide the city with a copy of that policy in order to procure that permit. Yep. Mm. 
Dependency, got it. Thank you for that reminder. Um, can we go back to the field day thing real quick, um, just on the location as far as the permit goes? I think what we've done to save money, if I'm not mistaken, and this is six year old data, so help me out here, um, is didn't we say that we weren't going to have an alcohol permit and we were going to just postpone that? Or did we say that we wanted it so that we could have it? I don't remember. And if it was any cost difference or whatever. According to Bill, he always acquired an alcohol permit. Okay. So everybody's okay with doing what we've been doing before, I guess is really what we're, we're saying. Okay, good. Thank you. And thank you, Andy, for bringing up the liability piece. That would have been a uh, uh, stick in the mud for us. No, I okay. was just, so, just, just getting ready to bring that up. Andy just beat me to it. So yeah, that's then the good. final thing is that uh, obviously there will also be a cost for food and stuff. I think last year was a little over $100 or something like that. So it was pretty modest as far as um, uh, what we did for food. Didn't we at some point in time do a continuing resolution on the liability insurance to just allow Andy to automatically fund that without coming to the board for any sort of resolution? That's uh, correct. I've, yeah. I've been I've been authorized to redo that every year. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. He was just mentioning that it needed to be done before we could procure the site, I think. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, so, Mike, uh, let, let let um just you know let us know if if for some reason uh, the the uh, the site is unavailable for that weekend, and then we'll have to figure Plan B, I guess. We'll talk to the ARL to have them move the date. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, any other discussions at this time on field day? I think it's a bit out there. Uh, we can probably talk about details of, of food coordination, headcount, and all this other stuff, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you, Mike. And uh, count me in for, for helping on those two events, um, and I hope others do the same, especially when it comes to uh, tear down when everybody's tired. That's when we need a lot of hands. So, um yeah, we'll we'll get to that at, at near the uh, near closer to the event. Uh, one other event worth mentioning is in the middle of all that is CPAC, uh, and uh, I went to their website and I just want to I want to say I've never been to CPAC before, and now I've got a camper. I'm I'm going. I got a campsite up there now. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been a, a, a routine hamvention goer um, in the past when I was living in in Pittsburgh. And uh, this this sounds and looks really good. I mean, it's probably not going to be the same 25,000 people, but um, it looks like it's going to be well attended and as far as, you know, vendors and speakers and topics. Uh, so consider that that's June 2nd through 4th. It, it is nowhere close to Hamvention, but it is a cute little show and well worth going. Yeah. And Seaside is a whole lot better than Dayton. Yeah, I well, Dayton has changed, as you know. It went to the fairgrounds instead of the dilapidated, now torn down uh, Hera Arena. But anyway, that's so, a totally different subject. So now I step uh, in. Okay. Now I step in cow poop rather than human poop. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's that much of a difference, honestly. Right. Thank you for the visual, Anna. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we've got a couple of new business items I wanted to mention. Uh, I tried really hard, but didn't make it. I wanted to get the um, uh, the uh, the uh, the bylaws out with some uh, proposed changes on this time of year. And this, we send it out. We we advertise it. We say this is the changes that we maybe like to make. Um, I, I'm going to actually wait until we figure out what domain name we're going to use before I put the bylaws out there so that we have some continuity here uh, to make sure that we've we've got uh, we don't have to make the change twice. OK, so I'm going to put myself in the sequence right after that to send those out. Uh, Ted already gave me some proposed changes of sections and um, I'll try to put something out there and, and then I'll just manage the 
uh, the changes uh, accordingly uh, on my own, you know, local copy here, and then we'll finalize it and then go through the process. Anybody have any? My only um, comment is just to be mindful. To that? To be, uh, my only comment is just to be mindful that the process is different if you do that, because my recollection is that you would have to publish the changes right now in order to use for our March yearly meeting. So at that point in time, if you miss that window, then you're required to run it through the emergency procedure, which is there, um, but there's a higher bar to enacting that. Not that I think that you're going to miss that bar, but just keep in mind that there's a different procedure if it's an emergency procedure. Okay, I'll do my best. Thank you. If you have questions uh, also, or concerns, please feel free to contact. I will. Me. I will. I will reach out to you. You're. You're. you're I'm going to be uh, tapping on your shoulder, Anna, and just make sure that you keep me on the straight and narrow. Um, and the reality uh, is, thank we've you. been operating under these old bylaws for a long time. We could continue on for another year. Yeah. As long as there's nothing wrong with them, nothing broken. <laughs> Uh, that's that's tragic. Um, okay, I will look at them and see if if anything meets you know is is a massive change. And if we do that, then we could if we just keep with peakradioassociation.org as our first choice. And if we can get it for little to no money, you know, little money, um, then we don't have to even change that. So that would be a vote in that direction. Okay. Um, nominations are coming up uh, in March uh, for all leadership positions. I will, again, read the bylaws and see what needs to be uh, sent out in advance, but um, just keep that in mind. We're always looking for people to step up and, and take a new role. Um, you know, please, this is a, a hobby we love, you know, show a little grit in the game and, and and help us all out it's it's not a, a a difficult thing when when people help out uh so i encourage that even you know even me that i just slid into this <laughs> i handed it to anthony he handed it back to me faster than i could say yes so uh I, it, all of these positions are up uh for you know re-election or or for new uh folks to step in so please uh consider your you know think about this uh for the next meeting um, you, usually we would take nominations at this meeting. There is an opportunity to take nominations from the floor by next meeting. Um, and usually we will take nominations anywhere from here until the meeting is my recollection of the situation and how it's written. So we, we really like to be doing a lot of this business about bylaws changes and nominations for those positions at the meeting before so that folks have enough time to consider their choices before they vote. I think Anthony's been running the elections online through club, uh, whatever club log or whatever it is, uh, right? The now. Ham Club online, yep. Yeah, yeah, which makes a lot of sense. Well, I can certainly do that. Um, do we want to, do we have everybody want to stick around for a few minutes and, and see if there's any nominations? I think an easy first thing is, is there anyone currently serving in the position that would no longer like to serve? And, you know, two, I mean, uh, is there you know, anybody that would like to serve in one of those positions? I am willing, if necessary, to be nominated again for an at-large position, but I would decline nominations to any of the officer positions. I would, I was a... Uh, uh, a badge treasurer, and uh, I don't wish to repeat that feat. I would second Paul's nomination as pre uh, for president. <laughs> that might not all probably also would be a good idea since we do have only a uh representation of the the membership and not the whole membership to uh send an email out to the list with calls for potential nominations 100 percent 
And I'm going to do that via Ham Club online because that's the larger group, uh, not just the Google groups that we we had used before we had Ham Club online. Agreed? Mm -hmm. So in hearing nobody that's giving up, I would like to nominate at least as a starting point the initial slate of officers and directors. Yeah, let's do that to now. Get a, you know, get the get some nominations started. So um, Anna and I have uh, nominated Paul. Is there a, is there a, can we take a vote on two nom uh, two recommendations? No. If there's a second to the nomination, the nom and the person doesn't refuse, then we're good to go. Okay. Say I would as a as a. Uh, Hopefully, time-saving measure. I would like to nominate the entire slate of existing officers and directors, unless any of them are not willing to serve another term. So I, I will say I believe uh, we should approach Bill Powell about um, he is one of the or was one of the uh, the at-large board board members. No, uh, I, you're exactly right. I had forgotten that he was at large, so. I would rescind my nomination for Bill. Yeah. Um, we have well, I accept. Um, I accept that I am not rejecting the nomination. Um, so, uh, if there's others that really have a, a a burning desire to to take this role, uh, I will let let that happen. Uh, just. If, if the candidate is um, is uh, qualified, there you go. So we need nominations for secretary and treasurer. Both um, both of us are willing to uh, share the job, give it up to somebody. Uh, I'm willing to accept it if nobody wants to do it. It sounds like Andy and Ted, with a lack of uh, running away or uh, accepting a, or asking for a, vol a nomination for the returning to their positions. Uh, there actually, was a time where I was looking for to run away. <laughs> but the virtual meetings are a lot less work in keeping the minutes at the same time the meeting is occurring. I don't have to do the meeting twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really kind of hesitant when we, we said, well, we'll just automatically nominate everybody who is for the next, because I wouldn't want any, anybody who was interested from not stepping up because I'm holding on mm -hmm. to something. <laughs> I would be happy to give it up. Sure. And I would love to have you know, I would love to emphasize that these are only nominations. I would love to have competitive elections. You are allowed to step down before the election if you so choose. Well, I certainly nominate uh, or nominate Ted uh, in his current position, and I nominate uh, Andy in his current position. But I, 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 I am. We're all singing the same sheet sheet of music here saying you know if there's others who wish to step in then again if if we can mentor them and they're qualified um or become qualified then great we need to you know need to do that i think we need to cultivate some backup uh, skilled people here yeah well, i think you said there was another at large role potentially and i can put my name in the hat for that thank you ron uh I'd nominate Ron for an at-large. Second. Third. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think we ought to have an in-person officers get together, too. Maybe before the next club meeting. Coffee. I can uh, I can organize that. Yeah, I think we ought to have a face to face coffee session where we can hammer out those details that we can't think of now. And 
that that'll come up in the next couple months. Make sure. Yeah, I know. The last one we had was in December, and that had a lot of agenda items. I think we've ironed a bunch of those out. So this is a a smaller agenda, uh, I think. If it, so, if it's an officers only meeting, check the bylaws and make sure that that's permissible and what potential notice may need to happen. If it's a board meeting, there is notice that needs to happen before a full board meeting in order to give people a chance to attend and monitor the board. Mm -hmm. Valid point. Okay, are there any other nominations for any of the other positions that um, anybody would like to either nominate or self-nominate? Um, please speak up. Okay, Again, I'm, I'm sure, to, you, I, I I'm sure you heard it, but I am I am happy to be nominated for a, a second go at, at, at large. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I second I second Anna uh, in that position as as well. I thought we already did that, but yeah, maybe maybe we missed it in the I'm, in the fodder of discussion. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. So uh, I decided. yeah, that's okay. Uh, we only do this once a year, and I'm really rusty at it to begin with. Never mind uh, a well-oiled machine. So. Um, Hearing no other nominations, we'll reopen. I'm sorry, we will discuss more nominations as as other people may want to do this uh, as well. So these are this is just the initial nominations are not closed, right? Isn't that how that goes? Yeah. Okay, correct. And there is Good. the possibility for nominations from the floor at the next meeting. Okay. All right, good. And I'm going to probably draft up some message and, and you're going to make sure that I do it right uh, before I send it out to Ham Club online, because uh, there's a lot of finer details in here that needs to be clear to the general population that doesn't happen to attend these meetings regularly. OK, uh, I vote to close the initial nominations unless I hear anything else at this time. I second. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we got through that. Uh, appreciate it. Everybody's sticking around. Um, uh, that was the, the the last I had as far as the agenda items. Uh, does anybody have anything roundtable of interest? Uh, things that you want to talk about uh, next month uh, or any other topics of, of interest besides the the obvious, you know, the upcoming contest and the upcoming field day? Yes, Tyler. Yes, uh, I'd like to make a couple of comments about domain, uh, domain name registrations. Uh, you want to get a reputable company that will uh, that will support you and uh, keep your keep your uh, registration current. You also want to uh, pick a name, and I think PeakRadioAssociation.org is available. However, uh, go for more than one year because. Uh, uh, if you uh, if you accidentally let it lapse, uh, somebody will pick it up, and uh, then you may have to buy it. Uh, you mm -hmm. also have to keep on top of uh, on top of whether uh, whether it's up for renewal, and a good company will uh, will keep you notified beforehand. It, it will get registered uh, through Amazon Route AWS Route fifty three. Um, and I'm aware of these things. I bought my, I didn't buy it. I requested my first domain in 1994. So I've been doing this for a long time. Okay. Yeah. I had a, uh, I had a domain name for my business. It's, it's, uh, it lapsed, uh, I think last year or a year before. And uh, it's been taken, it's been parked. Google lost theirs one time and then it lapsed and somebody bought it. No, it it uh, I think it's available, but uh, but you're going to have to basically buy it. Well, I just finished because I don't the the twelve dollars I paid is insignificant for me doing it. I just registered on AWS Route Fifty Three PeakRadio.org. So if we want to use it, it is ours right now. If we don't, I won't ruin it next year. So um, <laughs> we got that going. It's nice and short and to the point, and we you know and we own it. Good. Good job. No bylaw changes. Yay. 
<laughs> at least for that. Okay. I love it. Uh, actionable things already being scratched off. Thank you very much. Uh, does anybody have any other topics they'd like to bring up um, near the go to the order? Any other items? Okay, I make a motion to close the meeting uh, and thank you all for your participation. Anybody object or all in favor? One second. All right. All right, thanks everybody, appreciate it. Um, and uh, for anybody that happens to be, uh, I'll put a note out on the reflector um, for next weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be trying all kinds of uh, a new inf uh, improved radial system on my camper antenna uh, for HF. So I may be trying a couple of bands, um, maybe Saturday, probably Saturday, Friday night or Saturday. Um, and so I'll, I'll put a note out in case anybody can see if they can hear me. That would be a great, uh, a great test for, for me anyway. Hey, we could finally make that, uh, contact on 15 meters. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> just let me know. I already got Andy on 20. He's right down the street. <laughs> I had the greatest Thanks. disappointment ever. I thought I had 3Y0J, but it was a pirate. Oh. I, I filed for the broken queue, and they told me, yeah, we're really sorry, but they weren't even on 15 meters at that time. Mm. That's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not really quite sure why people think that that's so funny or that that's a great thing to do, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I thought I had Bouvet, but I, I did not. The irritating I, thing is if I didn't think that I had Bouvet, I would have kept trying. <laughs> I've run across, I have two other friends of mine that has also got bootlegged and they are, let's say, they are very pissed. It is not something you want to laugh at in front of them. I mean, I try and take it in stride. I'm not like pissed and ready to kill people talking about it, but it, it was a great disappointment because I was kind of jumping up and down when I uh, looked at the FT8 display and, and saw that there was a QSO there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know one guy that even took a picture of that and tried to get them to accept it. And the answer was no. Wow. I, I wish people would direct their energies to something good. Uh, that goes for hackers uh, and, and other people trying to sell you, you know, car maintenance warranties and whatnot. Go find something productive to do. Um, and yeah, the world will be a better place. The really irritating thing is this was on 15 meter FT8. So it's not like some guy just picks up a mic and just starts saying that they're 3Y0J, right? They got to set up FT8. They got to get everything going and actually talk to people on the computer in order to make this run. It's just, yeah, the, the links that people will go through to ruin other people's day is just, and the fact that they think it's funny is, yeah, I, I just don't understand that. Sorry for your experience, Anna. That that d disappointing is 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 certainly not. It's it's a. Uh -oh. It happens sometimes. You get the DX. Sometimes the DX gets you. I mean, yeah. All right, I'm gonna bug on out of here. Thank you, Anthony, for for starting and stopping the recording. Um, and uh, thank you all for your participation. And thank you, Mike, for your educational section. Um, and uh, if anybody has any ideas about doing any sort of social activity beyond, you know, between now and May, um, bring some ideas, put it on the um, on the reflector. You don't need any permission to, to do it. You say anybody want to get together and do this, that would be fairly acceptable, I think. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all. See you next month. Have a good night. See you.